This is the fifth video in the VLC uh, ActiveX plugin series. And as with almost every video, I dis discovered something strange. And basically, what this video is about is these two labels down here. They're a time and F time. And basically, time is the amount of time the current video, or in this case, MP3, has been playing. And F time is the total length of the item that's playing right now, the item that was selected from the list box. And both of these have uh, event handlers that are associated with them. The uh, media player playing happens right at the beginning of the uh, item being loaded into the media player. So it happens every time we play one of these virtual CDs or whatever is in the list box. It happens once. It's like a form load event in a way. And the other uh, uh, event handler is directly associated with the first item, time. And it's media player time changed. And it's sort of like a timer event. It happens every second as long as the, the item is playing. And the strange thing I discovered is the the uh, meteor player playing time is actually a calculation, or I'm assuming it must be a calculation based on bit rate and the physical length of the uh, the file that gets played. And that works great if it's CBR, the constant bit rate, but if it's VBR which is variable bit rate, that rate goes up and down as the the object is recorded. And that what we had previously was VBR because it was actually a bunch of study tapes I did when I was studying for my real estate license. And it's it was average bit rate of 32 uh, kilobits per second. But that means that if there's a lot of quiet, the bit rate goes down and if there's a lot of noise, the bit rate goes way up. It actually could be higher than 32 kilobits per second. So if you do the calculation for the full time, this almost always turns out to be too short. Like I think on the first one I got 33 minutes and 22 seconds. And in fact the item was like uh, 34 seconds long or something. It was 45 seconds off. And the longer it was, the more off it was. Like in the things that were in the almost 40 seconds, it was off by about 75 seconds. So basically, you can't get an accurate reading on this if you've got a VBR. So I switched over to a directory that uses CBR. And if you look at these event handlers, basically they're both doing the same thing. They're both displaying a time format. So, in or good programming practice, you just write a handmade routine that does the same thing for both. In the case of the Meteor Player playing, which happens at the start of the, uh, the object starting to play, you just pass vlc.input.length, which is a double, you have to convert it to an int. And this goes to a routine called time format. And it's in milliseconds. In both cases, they're in milliseconds. So the first thing we have to do is divide the milliseconds by a thousand in order to get seconds. And then, I actually don't need this. I did this while I was trying to figure out the VBR stuff. So maybe I'll pause and take that out. So basically, what we're doing is we're taking the milliseconds and dividing by a thousand to get the total seconds. Then we're dividing the total seconds by 3,600 to get the total number of hours, assuming it's over an hour. If it isn't over an hour, of course, hours is going to be zero. And then ba basically what we do is we take the total number of seconds minus the hours we just got times 3,600 and that gives us the number of seconds left over when we take the hours out. And then we divide what's left over by 60 in order to get the number of minutes. And then do essentially the same thing 
where we take the hour res minus the minutes times 60 in order to get the number of seconds that are left over when we take both the hours and the minutes out. And then finally, we get the uh, remainder when we divide by 60, which will give us the number of seconds. And this is all put into a nice format via the string format, where we have the first parameter is one character in length. The second parameter is two characters in length with a leading zero, which is what the 2 colon D2 does. And the third parameter is two characters in length with a leading zero, if it turns out to only be one character. So that gives us a nicely formatted uh, time string with colons between each of the fields and hours, minutes, and seconds displayed. And then we return this time string. And in the case of the media player playing, we take the vlc.input.length, which is the total length calculated, which is correct for CBR and incorrect for VBR, and put it in that portion of the uh, label we saw previously. And then we do the same thing with the parameter that it gets past the uh, DVLC events media player time changed event E. We take the time property of that and format that into uh, the number of seconds that have actually passed since it's been playing and put that into the uh, that portion of the label. So if we compile and run this and select the first item, you see the total length is uh, 1 hour and 8 minutes and 24 seconds. And right now it's been playing for nine seconds. And I've left the sound off because I just want to demonstrate the process. Plus I don't want any kind of copyright violations. <laughs> so if we select near the end of this, click on the uh, bar, it goes up to uh, one hour and six minutes and five seconds. And in fact, maybe I'll pause in order to, to make it even shorter. Alright, we're almost at the point where it's going to switch to the next uh, virtual CD. And you notice the time's at uh, one minute and, or one hour and eight minutes and 19 seconds. And when it hits 24, it should flip over to the next CD. There you saw it just flip. And now we have one hour, 15 minutes, and one second as the length of this current virtual CD and it's starting at the beginning again. It's up to like 11 seconds playing. Well, if you're curious, I did get my real estate license using those study tapes. I actually am a, technically a real estate uh, salesman, but I never use it for anything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.